right, guys. So, this is Husky's Garage. Uh, outside of my dogs this morning. Very beautiful day God's created. Very grateful for that. Uh, I remember telling everybody, I think, uh, if y'all remember me saying this is all about cars, Huskies, and building stuff on a budget, right? So, I don't have a, uh, I guess a, a paint booth or even really a garage I can do this in right now because it's full of cars and other parts. Um, so, as you can see, this tailgate's outside. Uh, I got it sitting on an old chair that's junk. It's probably firewood, but it's holding up. Uh, we've cleaned it. We've prepped it with some gray primer. Uh, this is telling you guys earlier, we've left the little imperfections on there, like that right there, and the, and the little dingy dings and pivots. Just because, you know, I'm not going to go and compound this whole thing. I don't have a sandblaster, the ability to get it sandblast at a shop we don't have that kind of money um so what i did was i grinded it all off with a steel wheel well and one of those paint scraper things and then we cleaned it with alcohol nail polish remover and degreaser and and washed it and dried it and i called it again and just prepped it uh, after we sanded some of this stuff down um but I was saying this is all about doing stuff on a budget. So we found some spray paint. We were using Rust-Oleum, uh, and we still are, but that stuff's not cheap. As y'all know, inflation, it used to be, you know, pretty cheap around here. Um, this is 2022 in Alabama, and that stuff's around six to seven dollars a can. For the final coat we're using, that's a nine dollar a can thing, and it don't last very much. Uh, but me and my wife were at, uh, home supply store the other day we found some budget spray paint for a buck 58 a can now don't quote me on anything because i don't know what year y'all are going to watch this when you're going to watch this and where you're going to watch it from so obviously prices are going to be different wherever you're at there's a little sarge uh we're going to see how this stuff does because like i said this is about being on a budget i'm not going to give you the name of the paint because I don't know, for sure. I'm not sponsored by them for one, and I'm not gonna tell y'all the name of the paint. I mean, everybody knows what Rustoleum is. This is not made made by Rustoleum. This is just some generic black paint because the paint, the final coat paint we're using, is actually uh, it needs a black base coat. So that gray primer was this primer filler to help kind of even out some of the stuff, and it did a lot. Uh, I don't think I had a video showing you guys of anything of the, the bare metal um, cleaned up really nice though but we're gonna try this stuff see what it does you know and if it doesn't work obviously we're only out of buck 58 and just got to go get some other kind of paint but like I said I don't have a booth I don't have a gun I don't really have the money to buy a kit from like eBay or something right now so we're just trying this and if it works it works and uh Y'all probably see a bunch of weird videos like this all together at once because I'm trying to make a longer video for you guys. Um, just don't have time right now, but I'm not going to have time here shortly to do anything. So, you know, bear with me. And uh, if we already got it shaking up, let's see what it looks like on there. I'm going to do light coats first, just like that. And I tried this stuff the other day on a on a uh, plastic trash can, and it actually worked very well. You know, back over stuff. Try not to get it too dark the first coat around. I did notice something the other day on the plastic trash can. Um, no, I didn't use the Rust-Oleum on the plastic one, but from what I could tell, this is a 
yeah, it is thinner, but it's actually a good thing because they're so and stuff is quite thick and it tends to run a lot. And this actually doesn't run that much, and um, it spreads, I guess, more evenly. Is the word I'm looking for. So. I'm going to have to do the whole truck and the black base coat and then we'll have to come back around with the expensive paint and go back over it but it's, it's my wife's and my truck but I've kind of letting her take over the you know give it to her basically like she's picking the colors and I'm just doing all the work um, so you see that side's still wet this side's basically dry now so we can go back over that in a minute sorry y'all I my dogs and I've got to watch them because they will leave you see a tree fell on that fence um, gotta watch them because if you don't that one right there, Big Sarge, he notices when you're not watching. And he will try his best to dig his way out of the fence you know, and leave. And when he leaves, it is hard to catch him. Uh, it takes a little while. And he usually takes my big brew with him, and it scares me to death because I'm so afraid that somebody's going to hit him. But thank God nobody has yet. Um, uh, so anyway, let's get back to doing this. I believe I'm not the only one that's done spray paint on a car, obviously. I'm going to hit everything of this. It's kind of hard to do one-handed, but... I'm actually going to go back over the letters once everything's solid. And uh, those are gonna get like a, a white, a pearl white highlight on them just to help them stand out. I wanna say thank you to a uh, couple new subscribers we've recently got. Um, It used to tell me who you guys were, but at the moment, I just, I can't figure out how to make that working for me anymore. It's just not working. There's old Remy, if y'all can see her. Sarge! See, this is what I mean. I've got to keep an eye on him because I don't see him now. and He's notorious for wanting to leave. Let me go find Sarge. Excuse the detour. Oh, there they are. Okay. So Big Brew will come to you when you call him. But, uh, Sarge will. He just kind of looks at you like, what do you want? So, anyway, that's all we gotta come on this side anyway. I gotta say, y'all, I'm actually rather really happy with the way this truck's turning out. I mean, those that have been watching my channel for a little while, y'all know that we usually work on stuff, but um, when I find another project that I like and I can afford or ends up being a trade deal, I go get it. And it usually ends up being another car, but this truck's gonna be probably the first total build we do on this channel so i'm hoping you guys are liking it i, I do gotta say i kind of like this cheap paint not just because of the price but it's actually it's turning out okay um i'll go ahead and do a second coat on there here a little bit darker side see what happens spread and pine
there is a uh, secret you can do to make paint spray paint work better for you. you know, one is chuck out a bucket of warm water and just let your paint can sit in the water for about 10 to 15 minutes especially if it's cold or you're painting it and that'll actually help the paint in the can thin up it'll last a little longer it'll spread a little easier We got, there you go. Hey, it's only gonna need two coats, it looks like. For instance, I was talking to y'all about this being the first build, and I got that um, 56 Pontiac Star Chief on the channel. Y'all haven't probably seen in a while. Um, I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. It is a, it's got the engine is stuck. It's going to cost a good little penny to keep that original engine if that's what we end up doing. I don't really have the patience for it right now. Oop, I messed that up. That's fine. To want to pull that old engine and just try to find like a 350 small block or whatever. Uh, if it's worth saving, it's worth doing it right and keeping that numbers matching engine and transmission. But I was pricing the parts on the other day and it was around $2,500 just to get the rebuild kit for the engine. That doesn't include the labor of time that you get to spend on it. So, um, I've had a couple people interested in it around here. Lots of thinking about buying it. Uh, we might trade it for something else. I don't really know at the moment. So, we'll see. Now you can see this is the second coat already. And it actually is turning out quite nicely. Um, I'm glad. It's my wife and I have bought spray cans that were dirt cheap like this. Again. This was garbage paint, and honestly, we were thinking this was just going to be garbage paint, but my dad says you get what you pay for, but sometimes you get blessed and you get lucky, and it ends up being an alright product. Like I said, this is just a base coat, so you ain't got to be perfect. The most important thing is it just needs to be even. And from what I can tell, it is definitely doing that. Um, I don't know if y'all, y'all are probably getting a lot of sun reflection, so. But anyway, so that's, that's what we're doing. And then we're going to do that to the whole truck. It's over there. See, we've got it primed with that gray primer. The doors, that door I'm going to try to keep. It's rusted out on the bottom, so we got to figure out how to get those and you can get any part you want for these things i mean they're catalog trucks but they're they're really cool they're getting kind of rare these days to see these kind on the road um and i was watching a documentary on them the other day and they're basically tractors that people used to drive around i mean they're strong i gotta show you somebody shot in the side of the door um i guess it was just some good old boys one night on a friday night they got a little bit too much uh, Jack Daniels or something and decided just to shoot the truck up. So Anyway, but guys y'all y'all bear with me. This will be a Couple parts of this little thing and then we uh We'll get a full video with you. All right Check that out guys. Look how good that turned out
I know some of y'all are fussing about the little imperfections, but like I told you, uh, that's the way me and my wife wanted to keep it because it's unique. And I mean, only God and nature can do that, and that's what happened. Uh, but I mean, that paint that I was telling y'all about is staking actually really good. Um, you know, that's just a base coat. The other stuff we're putting on there is like $8 can. So. Uh, we're about to go over there and do one of the fenders, see how it turns out. As you see, there's Boss Dog. Um, and, uh, everybody's confused right now because of the channel swap. Uh, like I said, it's it's complicated. The way we set up our old account was through a school email, and then the school, after I no longer enrolled, I lost my permission to use YouTube. So they gave me permission to go back in yesterday and transfer stuff over but i still lose all my subscribers and views and history and everything else so that year anniversary that we just had is pretty much dead in the water um but it's all good like i said god is good god takes care of everything um you know y'all hear me rambling on like i preach to you but um one of these videos we'll do a testimony about where we our background is what we came from uh, i will like to wish my wife a happy anniversary today it's our anniversary uh, nine years and she ain't killed me yet so it must not be doing too bad so anyway uh thanks guys for watching we'll get some more this is gonna be a little bit longer video than normal um confirmation is a bunch of little shots so anyway we'll see you in a little while